Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you very much for coming tonight. I am so pleased to be able to welcome all of you to RTDNA's annual gala Edward R. Murrow Awards Dinner. Since 1971, in what has become one of the largest and most prestigious journalism competitions in the country, we have been honoring the very best in broadcast and now digital journalism and production. And it's fitting. I think, that these awards themselves honor a person who exemplified the very highest standards of quality in our industry. That, of course, Edward R. Murrow. This year's competition, so you know, was a record breaker. We had more than 3,500 entries from television, radio, and digital. They were first judged throughout our 14 regions. And then about a 1,000 of those entries were awarded regional honors and moved to the national competition. It's those national winners that we honor here this evening, 100 of them from 67 different news organizations. It's a great slate of presenters has also joined us tonight to help us do just that. So let's get started. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the chairman of the board of the Radio, Television, Digital News Association from Michigan Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vince Duffy. Well, thank you, Mike, and good evening, everybody. Tonight, we are going to honor some really great journalism. And I can say that even though my own station, Michigan Radio, got skunked this year. We didn't win any, but maybe next year. I'm a, uh, a longtime Cleveland sports fan, so I'm really familiar with that phrase, maybe next year. But the winners of this year's Murrow Awards, they include big networks, some very small stations, and even some websites. But all of them meet high standards of journalism excellence that are required to receive the Murrow Award. The Murrow Awards, though, are just part of the work that RTDNA does. Our association also stands up for journalism and defends journalists. And we train new and mid-career journalists as well, and we give scholarships to students who are studying to be journalists. We also work to educate the public on our profession. Now, behind all of this work is a vigorous defense of the First Amendment. If you're not a member of RTDNA, see me, you should be. I want to take just a moment to recognize some of the people who work very hard to make RTDNA what it is, the members of our board and our staff. So please give them a round of applause. So thanks to the board and to the staff for all of the great work that you do for RTDNA and for all electronic journalists. Well, now let's meet tonight's Edward R. Murrow Award recipients. Our first awards category this evening is for outstanding and creative use of sound and video. From WBUR-FM comes the story of Boston Symphony Orchestra conductor Thomas Wilkins, who teaches